Okay, we'll look at um, creating folders and sharing folders next. So <clears throat> this is functionality again for team coaches, uh, for club coaches. Um, it's a really good way to start sharing um, homework with your teams, homework with your players, start sharing uh, ideas with other coaches, and it's also a nice way to organize information that um, that you feel passionate about as a coach. So we've got loads of content on the site now, um, loads of really great articles, loads of great sessions and drills, obviously. Um, but every coach is different. Different um, things appeal to different people. And folders is a really good way of um, organizing the content. So again, on the left-hand side, navigation. We'll scroll down. We've got the um, tab for folders here. So there's a couple of ways of creating folders. First one is to click on the folders tab um, and then we've got uh, a button on the top right here called new folder. So I can go in and I can create a new folder here. Hit save at the bottom here. Create new folder and then that appears in my folders here. Now it's default shared we can change the um, privacy of the folder depending on how we have this icon, this slider. We just click on that to, to change it. Now, as you can see here, um, the folder currently has no content inside it. So it'll pop me over to the training ground uh, and then I can click on a piece of content that, that I, I might want to stick in a folder. And this will show us the second way to add a folder. So. On the left-hand navigation of our content pages, there is this Add to Folder um, button. Now, I can select a folder which I've already created here, um, and it gives me a couple of steps just to confirm that that's what I want to put in it. So I stick, click Add to Folder, and the Punch Football article will go into my folder. Now, if I'm browsing content and I decide actually that this stuff that I'm reading about punch football or about rondos or about defending would be really great if I could stick this all into a folder. Then we have another option here where we click add to folder and then we've got this positive sign here. I can call this one, uh, let's call it defending. In fact, no, I won't because it's not relevant to the article. Let's call it passing. Um, so I then click create new folder, that folder is created and then I need to select that folder and then I add that piece of content to that folder. Okay, so I can keep browsing through the training ground through all of the content and I can do a, I can do a search for maybe for um, passing and then I can find loads of articles and, um, and drills on passing. Um, and then I can I can add those into my folders um, just through the search function. And then when I go back to my locker and I go into my folders, again I can see the, the folders that I've got and I can see that now they've got content in them. So to browse my folders, um, I've got five different folders here. I just click on each folder and I can just quickly browse the content that's inside that folder. Um, so if I just want to give myself a quick uh, memory check on, on what's inside those folders, they're really easy to browse. So then the next thing to do with folders is to share them with, um, with your teams, with your coaches, if you're a club coach, um, so that you can start to share the information that you think is relevant to your club philosophy or to your playing philosophy. Um, when I open this folder and click edit or share, I've got loads of options to share the content. So this might be some under eight content I want to share with all my under eight teams as a, as a club coach. It could equally be um, content that I just want to share with one team. So I just make the selections there. Um, I've got to make sure that it's on shared status so that it allows me to share it. Click update and then that folder if I go back into my um, edit panel for that folder, edit and share, you can see that that's now set to share with all of those teams. So when these team users log in um, and they go to their own folders, they'll find um, 
inside those folders that there is content. Um, it's worth, so when they look in here, they can look at their shared folders, the folders that are shared with them, all folders, or the personal folders. But um, all of your players, all of your coaches, when they look at folders shared with them, they'll be able to see that the, um, the, the folders that you've decided to pop into their, into their account. Um, it's worth saying as well as part of the navigation in here, because it doesn't actually load a new page when you're going back from folders, you have to click the back icon. Okay, if you try and scroll back in the website, then it'll take you back to the locker page because that's actually the page that's loaded before it. In the folders uh, page, when I go to activate some of these folders, I need to click the back icon. Okay, so that's a quick overview of how to create and share folders. Um, we'll have a quick look at the some of the social functionality in the platform in the next video. Thanks for listening.